Hey guys, it's Suzette from A New Eureka Think Kitchen. Today we're going to be making gandula salad. Yes, ensalada de gandules. It's super easy and you can actually do it with chickpeas if you like those kind of beans. Um, but let's get started. It's super easy. One, two, three, and you do a little um, white rice on the side and you have yourself a meal. And it's also vegetarian and vegan friendly. So what you're going to need is a can of gandules. I have a small can, so depending on the size of your party or if you're just doing it for your family. Um, some cilantro, a red onion. We are going to need a little bit of oregano, about two bay leaves, some salt. You can use olive oil. I like the blended because it's just milder, but that's up to you. You can use olive oil or the, the brand I'm using and some lemon juice. Super easy guys, a great meal if you're a busy mom and you have to do a quick meal. So let's get started. Okay guys, so what you wanna do when you open up the can of uh, your beans, it could be the chickpeas, as I said, today we're doing the gondolas, you're going to rinse it, okay? So you wanna rinse your beans and put that through a strainer and just put it in a nice glass bowl because it's always nice to put um, a glass bowl when you are combining lime juice or lemon juice and olive oil. If you put something in a metal, it just it gives it a funky flavor. So on your red onion, which, hi, what's not to love about cilantro, red onion, lime juice, and olive oil? Um, it doesn't matter what you put in it. Or how you make something. If you put those combinations, it's just amazing. So what I do with the um, red onion is I slice it nice and thin. You do not want this to be thick pieces. You want it to be nice and thin. And when I cut cilantro, I also, I like it to be kind of chunky, but that's, again, you're the cook, this is up to you. You're probably not going to need the whole red onion because I'm only doing a small can. So, you know, cut a little bit, add it in there. If you wanna add more, go ahead. This is no rocket science, you guys. This is so easy, like amazing. This is a great party thing too, like if you're having a backyard party and you want a little something different. So you see how my um, red onions are in there. We're gonna put that in there. Now the cilantro, like I said, I already washed it, so you wanna wash your cilantro very well. And I like my cilantro in this to be chunky. I don't want it to be like where I can't see it and I can't taste it. So it's gonna go in there, pretty chunky. Okay, you can cut it finer if you'd like. This is, this is your dish. Okay guys, then what you're going to do is I'm going to put a quarter cup of lime juice. Again, you may want to add more. This is to your tasting, okay? You may want to add less, so you have to taste it. And I'm going to do the same amount of olive oil cup again when I mix it I may need to add more so it's really how you like it so what I'm gonna do is start mixing this now I may like I said I may need to add more olive oil and that's fine because you want to taste it you may want more onions you may want more cilantro this is completely up to you either way you go you can't screw this up I promise you okay so I'm gonna mix that up and what you want to do is you want to add a little bit of oregano, okay? So just put some oregano in there, about, I'm putting two pinches of that in there. I'm going to add two bay leaves, give that briny taste. And then I'm going to sprinkle kosher salt. I'm a big kosher salt person. I just like it better, but that's up to you. Okay, sprinkle some kosher salt, may need more because this is, uh, of course, you gotta taste everything. And you're gonna mix this. Now you're going to mix this, okay? And you can taste it at this point. What I like to do is I like to put it in the refrigerator, okay? And let it sit for about an hour, or you can leave it on the counter. This does not have to be refrigerated. You can actually leave it on the counter, let it marinate, and then come back to it and taste it. And if you need to add more lime juice, or um, if you want more olive oil, at that point you can. Or if you need more salt, 
whatever. But at this point, I just like it to sit and let it marinate. In the meantime, this goes fantastic with white rice. If you're a vegetarian, which I'm trying to be, I'm just saying, I'm trying. Uh, or you can make um, some chicken, some pork chops, you know, some steak with a little white rice on the side and this, amazing guys, I promise you. This has been marinating for about 20 minutes, okay? So there's juices in there, you might wanna add, I think I'm gonna add more, cause I like mine to be a little bit, have a little bit more juice, especially when I'm gonna make white rice with this. So the lime juice and the olive oil with the white rice is amazing. So let me go ahead and taste. Oh my God, guys. Ensalada de gandules is delicious. So you see the juice down there? Okay, so that tastes amazing on your meat, your rice. So if you're gonna make this as a side dish, just go with your rice, you want that. But this is the base of this amazing salad and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. And I'm happy that you are watching today. If you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and happy cooking.